But would you go on prep? Like, is it something you might consider? Uh... Truvada. The drug has helped prevent HIV transmission for years. And now PrEP is legal in Canada. But what are the risks? What about other STIs? Doesn't it encourage bareback sex? So many questions as people talk about PrEP. Proponents of this drug say it's a complete game changer. If you take it as directed once a day, it could be more than 99% effective. But uptake here in Canada has been slow, which is why people like the AIDS Committee of Toronto are sending armies of people out to educate people about PrEP. Tonight, I'm here to see if it's working. Adam. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. Nice to see you again. So you're getting all ready to go? Getting all ready for outreach tonight. Uh, you've got condoms, you've got some posters, you've got a lot of stuff here. What are we working with tonight? Um, so one of the most useful things probably that we can do um, while we're heading over there is to think about one or two of the talking points that are on there. People, um, they might give us all the entire time of, uh, of day if um, you know they're waiting for friends to show up at the club. Um, they also might just sort of want to like, thanks for the condom and, and off they go. So we might have like a, a window of opportunity to get one point across. So um, uh, the um, main one that I will probably be talking about tonight is asking people if they've heard about it in the news and if they know anyone who's on it um, or who are interested in taking it. I actually really like this one. That's our most recent one, it's yeah. Very, very like pause inclusive actually. Whenever we're talking about any of these things, whether it's it's PrEP um, or undetectable viral load, we're always pairing it with existing tried and true sexual health prevention strategies as well. Well, and you bring that up. I mean, there's condoms and lube in here. Yep. We know that PrEP isn't 100% effective, um, like all medications. Yeah, but aren't guys just using PrEP so they can bear back? Um, yeah, and they may or may not want the condom, and that's fine. Um, the It's really an excuse and an opportunity to, to have this back and forth around uh, what options are available. Right. Why don't we head out? We have everything here we need, or...? We're set, yeah. Fridays are always busy in Toronto's gay village. Queers have converged here for decades, and Adam remembers a time when there was a club on yeah. every street. So you, you were here probably when this place was like really popping like, back, back in, in the day. Yeah, actually, probably the same time that you were visiting. He came of age at the height of the AIDS crisis. That's when he saw people making poor party choices, and some of them diagnosed with HIV. But he was lucky to have some older friends looking out for him. They just taught me like all the ways to use more safely, which is largely about like start slow, moderate, which things don't mix. Now he passes on what he's learned, including how to have safer sex. Hi, I'm I'm with ACT. I'm handing out free condoms and lube and gum and things that maybe will make the line go faster. One of the tactics we use on outreach is targeting uh, the straight friends who come out, um, specifically women. Uh, women are they're just a bit more friendlier in party spaces. Give some to your gay boy friends too. Awesome. Can I promote this inside? You may promote yeah, it inside. So what is your regular night like at Fly? It's variable, depending entirely on the vibe and the crowd. People are here for uh, an erotic break, uh, an oasis, or a party break, an oasis. Like people want to not be in their day-to-day -day nine to five. If people don't want to talk about their health, that's okay. You guys want free gum or free condoms on the way in? I'm okay. No, I'm We're all good? All right, go get warmed up. <laughs> Safe sex could be a tough sell on a Friday night, especially with a camera. But we did find somebody willing to talk. Have you heard anything about I've heard, but I don't know anything about it. Like, all I heard was prep, that's it. Can I, can I give you a couple of these and you can yeah, give them to some course. of your friends? Of course. Would you go on prep? Like, is it something you might consider? Uh, I'm not very active. <laughs> I'm not. I'm it's not. okay, yeah, I'm not um, either, sorry. So, probably not. Right. If your activity increased, do you think it might be something? If it does increase, um, Probably, I would, I would. Sweetheart. Thanks, very Thanks very much. Do you think you got the word out about PrEP? Oh, it, like, there's it, it, a splash in the bucket, but people are making sexual decisions right here. So they're, they're gonna fuck in the dark room or they're gonna meet up with people and go home. People um, are in the process of getting higher drunk and so then starting to forget their the regimens, and so we're we're there to not in a like annoying way, but in a, like a helpful, friendly way. Like while you're partying, also re remember that that guy who came up to you um, and just reminded you of some of this stuff. Next time on Prep Talk, does taking the pill mean you can throw all your condoms away? 
It's my condom box. Don't use it too much anymore, but sometimes it comes in handy.